core workout. A couple of things. Um, I would have a drink of water ready just in case because it's going to burn. You're going to need it. Um, you need a little bit of space for the wall for one of the things that we're going to do. Um, and then we're effectively going to go through three exercises and they're all going to target around the core. But we're looking at how we can integrate that core in with the shoulder as well and the rest of the chains are a little bit into the hip as well. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to try and have some fun exploring some different progressions of those three different exercises. And I'll go through round one in uh, sort of slowly, just building up, and then we'll see how we get on. Um, is people ready? Let us know in the comments. Um, are you ready for cracking on with this core workout? This is going to mean something a little bit later on. Um, those that haven't seen our handstand up uh, to Corona will won't know why this is written upside down from our partners, Play Layer, but you soon uh, will do, of course. So make sure you check out on Instagram. We're doing giveaways all week for them. Um, right, it's core. It's uh, AKA Ab Club. We're going. <laughs> We're going shirts off mainly because we need to not just show off. We're trying to make sure that we understand what is going on around at this midsection. I want you to be able to see that so you can train most effectively for yourself. So we'll get started. A couple of things we're thinking about is making sure that during these positions that we're tucking the pelvis underneath and we're thinking about how we can stay strong and connected from the shoulder into the core rather than breaking out into some of these positions. Those that have been uh, watched the two previous Monday workouts I've done that have been core will know we've been talking about that a lot. All of that is so important when we're getting into our handstands and trying to maintain good alignment. We need to have a strong connection to the shoulder and it needs to be connected to the hip. If we lose connection to the shoulder or of the hip or potentially both, we start to get into some funky shapes, it's less efficient and you're going to be less successful with your uh, handstands. So let's get started with the first um, one. We're going to go into a tripod position, which is going to be hands are going to go on the floor and thumbs are going to be touching, your feet are going to be wide apart. I'll show you what that looks like, side arm. Side arm, hands touching in the middle, feet spread wide apart, bum not up in the air or sag down low. So tucking that pelvis underneath, strong connection through the shoulder, screw those shoulders into place, and then our tripod would be reaching up and trying to make a long position with that arm all the way to the other, the rest of the line of the body. So to show you what that looks like. Front arm, just get a feel, just get a little bit of feel for it. Front arm, feet are wide, reach up. Thumb pointed up, rather than inwards or down, we're trying to create external rotation, so turning outwards. Good. That's gonna be the first one. We're gonna go for 10 of those, we're going to pause on each side. So a two second pause in the position. So one, two, and we'll hold that there. I'm going to come this way round for these 10 reps. Start with your thumbs touching, feet out, tuck that pelvis underneath, making sure we're in a nice straight long body line position, and then screw the shoulders, create tension. Reach up, one, two, right down, there's one. Reach up, one, Two, there's two, reach up, one, two, three, one, two, four, good, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, ten. Now, there's your first, your first exercise. That's number one. We're going to build up and ramp uh, that up as we go through. I can't get over this looking side swag or whatsoever. Okay. So, um, second one, we're going to go into a walkout. That is going to be where we go from a standing position. Hands go down to the floor. Check, check these babies out. Take these babies out. They're bringing white socks up in here. 
Do not be bringing white socks up in here. Look at that. Get a high tuck. Get a high pull on your socks. Make your calves look bigger. And guilty. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I'll get skinny socks. Calves. Skinny socks. The skinny calves. I'll do it. Right. Then we're going to come down to the floor. You're going to stretch, you're stretch a little bit of hundred. We're going to walk the hands out. So our press position. And then we're going to walk the hands a little bit further. And then we're going to walk them back. So let's do 10 of those. Just walk. Just warm up. Don't worry about going. Maxing out. Just where it's sort of comfortable. There's two. Using this first round as a bit of a warm up. Hopefully, you feel the hamstrings and the stretches come through there. There's four. Remember when we come down, make that connection. So pull the pelvis underneath, squeeze the glutes, suck the belly button in. That's six. Swing to the counter there. <laughs> Seven, three more. Here we go. Walk out. So the hands are quite like a slide. If you've got a slippy surface, it's quite nice. Last two. Yeah, last one. Nice. There's ten. One of the big ones on that is when you start to slide those hands apart that you don't arch and break in the back. If you feel that the lower back feels like, Jack, no, lower back's working great. Love that core workout, lower back got a real good workout. No, no, that means you're taking strain through the lower back and we need you to be working your midsection, not your lower back. So I'm thinking about tucking the pelvis of the knee, squeezing those glutes tight, Touch side back, check it. Is it saggy? Listen to that. That's rock guard. <laughs> that means you know it's on. And then the other thing, suck the belly button inside. I'll think about tensing your abs like you're ready to take a punch. That's going to keep front and back, so anterior chain, posterior chain, it's going to keep that splinted and nice and controlled. But as you walk out, you're going to feel that it wants to break out. Your body's always finding the easiest way to do something. So that's exercise two. Remember, we're going to progress those on in the next set. Exercise three is going to be a wall walk, so that's what we're going to use the wall. So a lot of these are very good exercises for those. There's been a lot of people asking about handstand workouts. What is working on the handstand? They're loving getting involved uh, with handstand up to friends. So thank you for everyone sharing their handstand pictures and that hashtag on Instagram. Loving your work. Make sure you go and check us out on Instagram if you haven't yet. So prize this week, starting this afternoon. Giveaways for my partners, free t-shirts, free coffee, free pants, free memberships, free everything. Um, Okay, so the last one, wall walk. We're going to take that walk out. The fact is we're going to walk backwards this time. We're going to go up to the wall. Some of you will be comfortable going all up to the wall. Great. Some of you will only want to go halfway down. But what you've got to do is find a range. You can go up and come back down and do two reps. Not just one. We're going to do two. We're going to build this up. So I would be press up position with the feet against the wall. And then step onto the wall. Put my beautiful socks on the wall. You might get to here and then want to come back down. What you make sure you do is tuck that pelvis underneath still. So want you to have a little pause here with the toes nice and tucked. So one, two, and then you walk back down. But if you're good, you're going to come all the way to the top. You're going to point those toes. You'll squeeze one, two. And then we're going to control ourselves back down. And then we're going to go again. For our second rep, remember we said we're going to do two reps. So squeeze, one, two, tummy's tight, bum's tight, control back down. Good. So there's two reps of wall walk. You're going to go wherever you can. You don't have to go all the way up to the wall. What you are going to do is make sure when you get to your most comfortable position, if it's an angle like that, 45 degrees, fine. But you are going to tuck the pelvis underneath and squeeze that bum, tuck the belly button in tight, and then you're going to point the beautiful toes 
on your beautiful socks of the world. If you've got white socks, and this isn't even a joke, whether you're listening on Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook, if you've got white socks on, get them off. We don't want to see them. We do not want to see. They're holding you back. They're hampering you. Okay, so there are three exercises. We're going to go now. Quick drink. We're going to do uh, three rounds. And we're going to work through each of those in a little tri-set, three in a row, or a little mini circuit. So let me know how in the comments. Are you following along? How do you find it? Are you looking forward to these three? We're going to hit these quite hard now. Not so much talking and, and explaining in between. We know what we've got to do. We're going to get on and get some uh, get some reps in the bank. Get those abs working. Sad problem after all. So, first one. What was the first one? I can't remember. Right, so the first one is going to be um, our tripod. And this time, rather than just... Oh, we're going to do one full set like that. One full set like that. Okay. So, hands touching, thumbs together. Feet further apart, suck that pebbles underneath. And then we drive up. One, two, and we'll just screw those shoulders. One, two, there's two. One, two, three. One, two, four. Make yourself long. Make sure that butt's on. One, two, squeeze. One, two, that butt needs to be on. One, two, one, two, three more. One, two, two more. One, two, last one. One, two. Good. Then into the walkout. Now, with the walkout, what we're going to do rather than walking back up with our hamstrings, we're going to stay down to keep a little bit more tension on. So, we're going to be in our pressure position. We're going to walk the hands out and then walk them back because when we come back up to here we're going to bring it back in later that morning round two we're looking we're like we're not creating tension through the core so we're going to try and just max out on the core a little bit so 10 reps slide out slide back one two make sure you're keeping that pelvis tucked with the knee when you go out three four these are hard, it sounds better now. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Keep tight. Nine. There we go, I'm working hard. Let me work hard with it. Yeah. Ten. One of the things about that is when we're reaching out to stop that arch and sagging coming, as well as either sucking your belly button tight or like you may take a punch, actually think about like pushing your belly button up into the air. Think about driving that upwards. Not so that you end up here, but just so you're stopping yourself from going there and driving that sensation I get is driving that belly button up. Wall walks. What? Three, so we're building up each time. Three reps without your feet coming down to touch the floor. You ready? So press the position as far as you can, under control and uh, with enough confidence. A two second pause at the top. There's nice pointy toes and your beautiful socks. So if you've got the marks on, take them off. Right, here's rep one. So to the wall, point the toes, hold, one, two. Pull the squeeze, hopefully you can see that. Come back down. And then back up again before touching the floor. Pull one, two. There's two reps. Now we're going for a third one. Down the wall. Back up. Pull the two, one, two, squeeze the one. Back out. Ooh, there's round two. Okay. Well, round one of the full set, specifically going three. And that was the first one. Didn't count. It was just one. Hopefully, you're feeling that we can. Now, if you're anything like me, or if you're anything like me, your hair's gone crazy. 
because you can't get your hair cut during lockdown. And then uh, you're gonna need a drink of water because you're out of breath. Whew. How we find it? How we find it? Let me know in the comments. RS two five four seven shoulders. Oh mate, the shoulders. Uh, whew, right. So we're integrating into the shoulders and the core. You should be feeling that. Right. Now, can we give you the difference? This time on our uh, our tripod, we're gonna raise the arm up. We're not just gonna raise it up, we're gonna do we're gonna raise it up into a Y, which is basically what we're doing. Then we're gonna go T, then we go W. Then we go back out. Y, T, W. Little swap. Y, T, W, little swap. Y, T, W, little swap. Okay, so I'm going to show you front on so you can see this rather than from the stand. I think that'll probably be most beneficial. So 10 reps, but Y, T, W on one arm or four shot rather than just straight up. So starting thumbs together. A little bit wider so you've got some nice space to pull. Okay, so here we go. Y, T, W, swap over. Y, T, W, swap over. Y, T, W, there's three. Y, T, W, there's four. Screw those shoulders. Y, T, W, there's five. Y, T, W, there's six. Y, T, W, is seven. Y, T, W, is eight. Y, T, W, is nine. That's one. Y, T, W, Ooh, there's ten. <sighs> okay. All right. Next up. You need some sexy socks. First one, we're going to slide. So this time, for the walkouts, we're not just going to walk out. We're not going to walk the hands at the time. We're going to slide back and then slide forward. You're going to feel a big difference. Hip flexors are going to come into play when we pull ourselves back up. So that's a good thing. We're trying to make that connection, not just working these guys on their own. We're trying to work it upwards and down the chain. Can you make a connection into the shoulder, through the core, and can we make a connection down into the legs and the lower extremities through the core as well? So, um, that is going to look like this. So, our present position. So, rather than walking forward, this time, we're going to slide back and pull forward. Slide back, pull forward. Think of when you slide back, what's going to happen is you're going to go into a terrible body position. Now, keep the hips in line with the shoulders, keep the pelvis tucked, and keep them pulled inside not breaking out into the back shape, okay? So we're going to 10 of these babies. You're not going to have to go very far to feel it being hard. Now, if you're on carpet and you've got white socks, take the crappy white socks off. You can probably just slide on barefoot. If you've got a slipping fall like this uh, and you've got great socks on, keep them on, you're going to slide nicely, just like these puppies. Pull them up real high. And then the other thing is, if you haven't got, you've got white socks on, you got a sliding floor and you want to use the socks, get them off, put a tea towel or something down on the floor and you can slide on them. To get yourself set up, you're going to push back. And if you, if that's just too much hassle for you, you can carry on with the wall guys. But you'll feel quite a big difference on this. And it is, it is nice. Okay, so press up position. We're going to 10, remember. So screw the shoulders, stop pose and leave, slide back, but as you can, pull forward. One. Slide back under control. Two. Slide back. Three. Slide back. Four. Slide back. Five. Should feel hip flexors kicking in a bit. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Woo! How we find that one? People like that one? It's not a phase at the moment. One of my absolute faves. Not only do you get to use your badass socks, 
you get to just uh, do that core working. And yeah, that must be our bad. This is like same to cardio, isn't it? It's like, what? What are we doing core? We are. You're working hard. Okay. Last one of the set. Remember, then we've got another round. Last one of the set. We did three, two reps the first one. Three. Now you've got it. We're doing four reps on our wall walk without touching the floor. If you have to go through a smaller range so you can do all four reps, do that. Don't max out and collapse back down onto the floor. I don't want to see that. Okay? So, press up position. Feet go up onto the wall. We drive back. Get to the wall. Tummy in tight. Squeeze bone. One, two. Nice and long up the wall. Walk ourselves. Back down the wall and then back up. Come in tight, squeeze, boom. Oh, that's two. You just work the range that you can. This is getting hard now. One, two, one more rep. Come on. Will we suck stuck? I'm going to cut the range a little bit so I don't die. And I'm going to back up. Yep, 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 yep. We side. One, two, control down. Woo, baby. Oh, sorry. My wife really says she hates it. Like people do that. Oh, yeah. Just a note. Wax pants. Yeah, those partners wax. Gonna be part of the giveaway later this week. But everyone's giving away a free haircut. I'll take one. <laughs> okay, so we need a drink. We've got our last set coming up. Oh, right. What we're going to throw in to the uh, last set, we're going to go our tripod. We're going to go Y, T, W, put the hand down, then we're going to rotate. Onto the side, come back, do our Y, T, and shoulder uh, abduction, A, B. So it would look like this. So our tripod, I'd raise Y, T, W, hand goes down, I then rotate, I come back down, I swap over, Y, T, W, rotate, swap over. Make sense? Okay, please come with me. 10 of those, so it's going to be slightly longer because we're adding that rotation in. If you want to make it hard, stack those feet on top of each other. So when you rotate, rather than rotating here, stack that foot on top. Okay, so last round. Focus in, make these way. Shoulders working hard as well on this one. So. We're going to uh, raise the right arm. Y, T, W, hand goes down. Rotate, stack the feet if you want. Come back down, spread the feet apart. And then Y, T, W, hand goes down. Rotate, stack the feet. Ooh. There you go. Rotate back down. Stop it. Y, T, W. Fingers down, rotate. Back again. Y, T, W, fingers down, rotate. This is four. Y, T, W, fingers down, rotate. Up, down. Y, T, W, rotate. This is six. Y, T, three, and goes down. Rotate, this is seven. Y, T, three, and goes down. This is eight. Two more after this. Y, T, three, and goes down. Rotate. Nice. Think it's straight body lines. Y, T, three, rotate. Up. Oh, last one. 
Why? Three. Three. Now we go. Anyone carrying? I think that was right. Ah, right, last round. Who's still with me? Who's still going? Who's finding it hard? Who's dying for a break? Uh, <laughs> people finding, people joining in. Good, good, good. Glad you're enjoying it. Glad you're enjoying it. Right, so we are in the last round. We've got two more exercises. Ready? So we are going to do. Combine the walkout with the pushback. So we're going to push back, but to pull ourselves, when we pull back forward, we're going to pull into a pike position. Ah, yeah, this is going to fit. You're going to, you're going to like this one. You're going to hate this one, but you're going to love me for it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, this is hard. Let's make no bones about it. Work through the range that you can. The tight hamstrings are the, the, the harder you'll find you can get in. Also, it's think about closing the space between the trunk and your thighs. We're trying to pull ourselves up together. So show you what I mean. So we'll do like our slide back. When we slide in, we're going to pull. We're going to keep dragging. And I'm going to bring our feet towards. I'll start that. Then we drive back. And we pull forward again. And so you go in. Feet as close to your hands as possible on the way back in. And drive in the hips up. Okay? These are brutal. We're going to drop and do six of these rather than ten. So work quality and work through the range that you can. Six reps. Here we go. Ready? So drive back. Pull forward and up. So he's working on things like press the handstand. Real nice for that. Drive back. Pull through and up. Should feel like you can try and get toes. A little bit closer to your hands each time. Here's three. Oh, pick a line on the floor so that you're going to pull your feet past. Four. There we go. A little bit further from me there. Hopefully you saw it. Two more. Deep tension. Five. There you go. I'm the reach there. One more. Last one. Big effort. How far can you go back? Keep that line in. Six. Woo! Okay. Now, the finisher, we know what this is. Uh, the finisher, we're going back to the wall. Wall walks. How many did you do last time? Four. That's right, you did four. How many did you do this time, Jacko? You guessed it. Five will make you get down now. One, two, three, four. Right. Yes, five. So five reps. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be good. Shoulders going to work hard. Work through the range that you can. Don't lose tension. Pause at the top or whatever angle you can. From down as far as you can, but not so far that you collapse down the floor. No falling. Okay. That's one. Pull them socks up. Pull them socks up. If you're in late and you've got white socks on. Don't come up in any of those shots. Okay, I'm sweating like an absolute beast. Let's go. Push up, walk up the wall. Here we go. Here's red one. We're doing five. Come in your tight, squeeze, toes of the wall. One, two, right down. Here we go. Here's number two. Squeeze. Like a wheelbarrow race. Here's number three. I'm cutting the range because I need to. If you need to, that's cool too. Here's four. Oh, baby. One, two. Last breath. Come on. Don't be low, Jacko. One, two, and slowly down. With the control, with the control, much control. That's right. Slide. Oh. Oh. I say slide. <laughs> All right. There we go.
Grab that drink. You might be. You just want to pull that baby. Maybe you're ready. You're cramping. That's how I feel at the moment. Uh, right. So, anyone that's got a little bit of energy left, then uh, you probably haven't been following along. <laughs> no, anyone, how do we find that? Let me know. We did a warm up set, three rounds. It was pretty brutal. Um, lots of you on Instagram, lots and lots of you on Facebook. Great to join us on Facebook. And then a ton of you on YouTube as well. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments how, how you find that. If you've got a little bit of energy, I like to do uh, a Caroline Newcomb liking those socks. I oh, know, sorry, not the socks, she's liking it, liking the workout. Good. I hope you like the socks as well. I'm a big deal out of them. Right, we like to finish with um, this is just water, by the way. It's not actually cause life. That'd be, that'd be different. That'd be, that's a whole different YouTube channel. Right. So, I'd like to finish these uh, workouts with a little challenge. And those saw the thumbnail for the video on YouTube is a flying Superman, which is, yes, an upper body uh, sort of push up exercise, explosive push up, but it also midsection has to work, the core has to work to maintain that body line if you want to create a nice straight shape in your uh, flying Superman. And it has to react, so it has to be able to suddenly switch on. So it's a nice little flip or change to our uh, core training rather than that was very much about maintaining tension and uh, transferring that through the rest of the body, which is great for our core, for our handstands. Hopefully lots of you are gonna take part in handstand up to Corona. Um, just on that, like part of that, like with, um, we partner in Play Layer with it. They're giving away one of their t-shirts they've done specifically for it. All profits for their t-shirts um, for that handstand up to Corona, all the profits that go to the NHS. We're donating 10% of all of our revenue for the virtual classroom um, throughout the whole of the month of April to the NHS and um, a local charity, Robin Hood Fund, uh, here in Nottingham that are helping support people affected by the Corona. So there's, uh, have some fun with it. There is some seriousness um, in terms of some good stuff that's going to be happening off. We massively appreciate your support if you can uh, have a go at hand side. It might be using the wall, etc. cetera, blah, 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 however creative you want. Okay, so um, the flying Superman. I'm going to show you a couple of progressions to have a go with. And he's make he's making class photo, let's be honest. Particularly that one at the beach, which looks nice. But we're doing it on dead, dead simple. You go, press the position. And all you're going to do first is a little jump with your hands. Now, you don't go all the way down to the bottom. The reason being, have a little go with this whilst I explain it, so a little jump. The reason being, we're strongest mid-range. If you were to ask me to jump as high as I could, I wouldn't jump, go squat all the way down to here, and then jump out of that shape. If you asked me to jump as high as I could, I'd drop down to here, strong. Small, sharp, fast movement. Mid-range where you're strongest, where we've got the most overlap of those um, muscle fibers, and so therefore, we're able to create the biggest amount of contraction. And we try and do it fast and snappy because there's something called like a stretch reflex in the muscle and the tendons where if we load it quickly, so come down quickly, come out of the bottom, we get to explode and use the elastic properties of the, the sort of muscles and the, and the particular the, the tendons, the attachments to help us drive uh, back up. So it's important that we're not now for this being slow. We're not going through full range. We're going where we're most powerful or most explosive, taking... Um, advantage of that stretch shortly cycle or the stretch reflexes being be referred to. So have another couple of those don't be many just a little few just a little get used to that that fast down up yeah not too not too far okay then we're gonna build it up create enough space so you can do a little clap okay so down up down up down up don't do it don't worry about doing in a row break them down so you go down, fast and twisted, up. Yeah, so here, down, up. And when we go down, I've got to make sure I maintain that line. So when I go down here, I don't lose the hips. So that's just energy leak out of the system. We want to keep the chain nice and strong, but all going up in one nice line and keeping energy in that system. So have another couple, if not too many, we need to stay tuned in the grand finale, which is a little quick, fast down, back, and a nice, Little clap. Okay? Good. Right. Once we 
do that. And bear in mind, if you've got long enough to clap, you've got long enough, put your arms up like that. Then you push up, you'll be here, then you push up and you go, boom. instead of going, bang, you go, boom. okay? And the camera catches you, boom, when your arms are there, ideally. But what about the legs? So we're going to do the legs, we're going to take it back one step, because you've shown that you can clap, take it back one step to so just lifting the hands up. And all you're going to do is you're going to kick your feet up at the same time. So what we're doing before is just that little jump. Now we're going to chuck the feet up as well. And you see when I was flapping in the air, making sure that this is staying connected to this, so that we're in the air we're nice and straight, rather than in the air being arched in here. Let's look something to show you there. So here, go first. And keep the feet up as well. Yeah? So this is going to look far less impressive than the photo because you're just going to see it in real time. But if you can do enough to clap, take a look at the rest of now. If you can do enough to clap, you just kind of go at that one, where you're just raising your feet as well at the same time as you push, you raise your feet. Keep this nice and tight. Instead of clapping, boom, you're going to raise those hands up into the air. But you've got to get it full. Uh, as my brothers and seekers used to say, full tigers. You're going to give me this, this, this isn't like a nice, like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to do this nice push. -up. No, no, this is going to be full beats. Everything you've got, put it into this. And then uh, either get, hopefully, you, if, you, if, you're, if you're in isolation and you're, you're in lockdown and you live on your own, then set up your camera and you're going to do like a, a fast shutter or a video and take a screenshot of the video when you're up in the air. If you've got someone uh, in your household that can, is good enough to do that, press, they can be able to and do it like fashion so you get a lot more impressive because the photo genuinely does this is what it looks like in the uh, in real time. So fast and explosive, keep the feet up and then the road, the hands at the same time. Okay? So here we go. Three, two, one. One more. And that is our Superman push up. Or flying push up, you can get crazy. Think of one other thing about push up rather than just right here. I jumped up and went like, Yeah, so if you get a decent bit of hang time, you can, and only this split second, you can get nice and creative with uh, with your flying supermans. And we want to see those, so tag us in, um, share those on Instagram, uh, in your stories, tag us in them, use uh, the hashtag um, flying superman. And we look forward to uh, seeing and sharing those. And the big thing going on this afternoon, we're going to be doing handstand up to Corona. We're going to have um, giveaways every day, starting with our partner, Player Layer, um, with today's. They've got an upside down T-shirt that they've created for this. Um, all the profits for that T-shirt go to um, NHS. So you can actually buy one from them if you want to help um, do donate to the NHS. Um, but uh, the... Uh, the, the, the challenge today is going to be um, sh showing us your best interesting attempt at a handstand, whether that's using the wall or not using the wall, whether it's walking up, kicking up, whatever it may be, whether you're like an absolute badass and it's a single arm and you can take a t-shirt off whilst in a single arm or whatever it may be, amazing. If literally it's just like your first frog stand or we don't care, this is about getting involved, having some fun with your training. We're all feeling the sort of stress and the anxiety of um, the whole corona situation we're hoping to try and spread a little bit of fun and happiness because we know that um sort of from 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 what psychologists are telling us that um our psychologists telling us that we can't um we can't have the coexisting of happiness and fun and laughter at the same time as anxiety and worry so if to help try and sort of squash that anxiety and worry we are um looking to spread a little bit of fun and happiness with hand sent up to corona and uh so Player Layer donating all profits from their T-shirt to it. And we are also donating 10% of all the revenue from the virtual classroom to where our online training programs are. There's a, there's a brand new handstand program if you want um, some extra help to learn to do a completely freestanding one. But for this, you don't have to if you don't want to in terms of do a freestanding one. If you want to learn a freestanding one, we've got a full program for you to follow that's brand new. That launched on Friday. Um, and 10% of all of our uh, revenue in the virtual classroom goes to those two charities, the NHS and the Robin Hood Fund. Um, so I hope you will join us um, in spreading some of that around. Get on, we want, we're sort of that, that, uh, that, uh, 
that competition is running, uh, just running on Instagram. So get yourself on Instagram, follow us, School of Castanets, and um, you'll see it this afternoon. It's going to kick off. And we've got Player Lair giving away one of their T-shirts for the first day's winner. And then we've got new uh, new prizes each day, all week. Uh, hopefully enough people will get on board with it and we can start dragging in a few more people to give away uh, prizes so we can keep this thing going. You get to, you get some nice little prizes as well as taking part in the hand sign up to Corona Challenge. So thank you all for watching. Uh, remember on YouTube, we've got lives every day uh, as that we have done the last two weeks. All those videos of workouts go back into a playlist once you've done, so you can watch them back. Um, that is on our YouTube channel. Again, just search School Car Center on YouTube. And uh, tomorrow it is uh, Coach Owen. Wednesday it is Tim. Thursday, you're back with me. And then Friday, you've got Owen for the final kicker to set you up for the weekend. Um, the sun is beautifully shining in on me today. I hope that uh, the sun is shining where you are. And if it isn't, um, I hope you have an internal sunshine, ray of sunshine inside you, beaming out to everyone else around you. Um, so I'm going to sign off. Class dismissed.